All right. Today, we're gonna check out the failure of this thing. This is the tire mount deal thing for roto packs. This is the part that failed. See something wrong there? So what we have here is we have a failure to engineer or failure for common sense. So this is the tire mount piece that goes onto a spare tire for a Jeep. Now, how this is designed to go is this way, and then you have your square tubing piece slides in here. So this plate bolts behind your tire, your tire slides onto here, you run your bolts through, this sits secure to the Jeep. And then what you have is you have your your roto packs mount, your gas mounts, right, your gas can, with their square tubing that slides into here. Okay, well there's one big thing. The tire carrier I have, like many tire carriers, was modeled after the original Jeep tire carrier. And so this mount sits this way. This is what they tell me, right? But to put it on, it's gotta sit that way. What's the issue you see here? All the weight rides on this little flange and not this flange, not this piece of metal here. Why they would go through the trouble of running this steel through a brake and cutting holes here, here, and here, I have no idea. It would be so much simpler to cut a piece of square tubing, run holes through it, weld the nut here with the screw and be done. So today, we're gonna go ahead and fix this and make it strong. Just so you guys know, when I run this, this lasted a total of two miles before I noticed the gas cans were sagging off the back of the Jeep. And then I had to come up with some other method of, of strapping them on because this did not work. Um, now the company was really good, they refunded me on this, but we're gonna make a mount that actually works and that actually fits. So let's go ahead and get some metal and let's make this work. This is a 16th inch square stock. I think it's two inch, but it slips over. There's a little bit of slop in there, but that's okay. We could put a set screw just like they had on this one. They had a set screw here. So I put a set screw here and a set screw here. Then what we can do is take the slop out with just the set screws. The square tubing still takes the weight, and then it pulls, then there's no slop. So I think that's the plan. Now, some of you may be thinking, okay, well, 16th of an inch isn't nowhere near as thick as this. Well, yeah, you'd be correct. However, this is fully boxed, and this is clearly not. So now, now we have a nice beefy part. So what I'm gonna do is weld it. We'll weld it up. Um, we are going to use this base plate, but what we'll do is we'll orientate it the correct way. So this way, we'll take our better square tube. We'll cut this off, weld this guy on there. And then what we'll do is we'll weld these guys on in place to the tube. And so that's gonna give it even more rigidity than it already has. And then we'll go through and we'll take it and we'll drill a hole where we want it, which is the other nice thing is they only give you two options here to, um, well, rather than the mount here, they only give you two options for distance. Whereas with this setup, we can go ahead and we can fix that. We can make it the exact distance we need just by drilling a hole. Also, if we drill a slightly bigger hole, as you can see these are pretty tiny and all these do is slap it from sliding out, but we can drill a slightly bigger hole and we can use a locking hitch pin. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So let's get some uh, let's get some things together and start cutting this apart.
and before the dual mount stuck out about that far we're going to suck it into there and then we'll give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room all right about there that way it's nice up and gets the tire and then when we put the bolts in to take the slack out it will bring it nice like that nice and flat up against everything nice and flat against the tire that's what we want I'm not a fan of anything that sticks out away from the tire this doesn't make sense to me okay so one issue with this is we're gonna put a new hole through here and when we do that we're gonna lose some metal so unfortunately where I center punched my hole at is right here which is right next to that hole which loses strength so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this square tubing put it in here we're gonna run a bead around here and luckily for my length as we saw earlier this little piece sticking out won't hurt anything so I can run a bead here, here, and here without uh, this link. Okay, so for this next part, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two bolts and two nuts. Now, these are nylock, nylock um, lock nuts, but in which the nylock is probably gonna burn down here when I weld it, uh, but if it doesn't, that'll be nice. However, so what we're going to do is we're gonna thread them through part way, that way, the bolt lines the hole up for us. So, perfect case is here, see? Now it's nice lined up for us, so all we have to do is kind of get it centered, and then we can tack it. So now the mount is dry, let's go ahead and get it on before we run out of the daylight, because we're running out quick, so let's do this. So here's the piece, you can see one hole, two bolts to pull the slack out. Okay, that's on there. Then what we use is we use one of the smaller locking uh, hitch pins. I think these are half inch hitch pins. I can't remember exactly the size, but they're the smaller size, so that goes like that. Then what we do is we get this slider in there just like that. Now here's the trick. So if you're working there, you noticed. Let me get you lined up. Okay, if you're looking there, the holes aren't exactly lined up. So you have to give just a little bit of a push. And they line up. Basically it's in. What we do is we just take our socket. You'll notice, one, it's right against the tire, so it's going to have lots of support here. And the other thing is, no shake. That's my tire carrier. But there's no shake between here and the mount. It's really solid. This is how Rotopack should have made them. Anyway, guys, this is how Rotopack should have made them. Thank you for... Uh, watching if you have any questions please comment subscribe like the video and be ready for the next one thank you look at that it's gonna be a good sunset tonight i wish i could get over there tonight oh well